Hey everyone, Tragic here with PackBot3000 to do another old school pack opening. These are going to be all packs from pre-modern era of Magic the Gathering history. So let's take a look. Uh, it has been requested before that I cover the top so that everyone will be surprised by what pack is there. So that's the whole thing. It's random, totally random what's going to come out of here. I have no idea. PackBot graces us with what could possibly come out of here. Pack of Judgment? Sure, why not? Let's see what we're going to get out of this pack from 2002 or so. Going way back. Got some phantoms in this set, I believe. We got a phantom tiger. We're going to go through the commons a little bit. This is an older set. You don't see this stuff every day, right? Brian Snotty art. Very cool. There's a hawk. Barbarian Bully by Mike Plug, comic book writer or artist. I believe he uh, drew Werewolf by Night back in the way back in the day. Check me out on that. Got an Antelope Scorcher Mental Note. Yeah, get it out of there. Don't need it anyway. Canopy Claws Cage Mail. Got a Lava Dart. One little damage there. The strands. All right, let's look at these uncommons here. And as usual, we'll scan up any. We'll scan up the rare at least, and any uncommons I think might be exciting. We've got a flash of insight, a Croson reclamation. I might scan that one. Avon Warcraft and a Phantom Nantuko. That one is a zero zero insect spirit creature for three with trample. It comes into play with two normal counters. If damage would be dealt to Phantom Nantuko, prevent that damage. Remove a 1 1 counter from Phantom Nantuko, uh, and you can tap it to put a counter on it. So, I might see a little bit of play somewhere, somehow. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's scan it up with the trusty scanner. Well, Bink, it's a 35 cent card. So, it does not see any play. Croson Reclamation is not a big one. So,. We'll just set that aside. There we go. That's how it works around here. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff, make sure to like, and subscribe, and share on whatever sharing platform you would like to do. Here's a pack of Weatherlight. One of my favorite sets. Let's see. So I believe, and I'm going to do this the, the fun way right here. So I think we've got uh, three uncommons and a rare. And we're going to go through the commons first. We've got Shattered Crypt, Berserker, Coals and the Medusa, very cool art on that. The Ophidian, Lanamore Sentinel, Scavengers. I love, I love this set. It's got great art. Cool cards. Let's see, are we into the uncommons? I think the next one, Barashi. Is an uncommon master of arms, guy's blessing, and the rare fungus elemental. Check that thing out. For four, it's a three-three elemental. You pay uh, pay a forest and sacrifice a forest. Put a two-two counter on fungus elemental. Use this ability only if fungus elemental came into play this turn. Let's see, is it working anything? It's a forty-nine cent rare. So we are on our way. Okay, next up, hoping to do a little better than Fungus Elementals and Nantukos, Paka Onslaught, the original Fetchland set, in case you didn't know. So, we're hoping for that. Got a Symbiotic Elf, a Merc Diver, Glory Seeker. A Spurred Wolverine, Spy Network, Undorak, another Nantuko, the nice pacifism art there, Cabal Executioner, Gust Cloak Skirmisher, Brood Hatch Nantuko, and a Glare Caster. For six, it's a 3 3 flying bird cleric with uh, you can pay six. The next time damage will be dealt to the Glare Caster or you this turn. That damage is dealt to target creature or player instead. I cannot imagine that this sees much play. But I think there's a foil behind it. Let's see if it's a good one. Ooh, a foil tranquil thicket. Ah, not the foil land I was hoping for. 
but it sure is nice looking. So the glare caster is going to be, yeah, 48 cents. That's about what I figured. And a foil tranquil thicket. All right, there we go. Next up, pack of alliances. Let's go. Let's get a force of will right now. And if this is one where I'm never sure which one is the the rare. Um, I'm just gonna go through it. I want to say this might be the uncommon reprisal. I'm gonna scan it. Common. Oh, well, that's what I was looking for right there. That is definitely an uncommon. The best card in the set. Krovigan Plague. I think we don't even need to look at that one. Uh, Force of Will. Let's go ahead and read it if you don't know what it does. It's a five drop interrupt instant. You may pay one life and remove a blue card from your hand in your hand from the game instead of paying Force of Will's casting cost. Effects that prevent or redirect damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. You can counter target spell with it with cool art. And I think the next one might be the rare Kildorn Outpost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Force of Will, all the way up to a hundred bucks now. Well, that made my day right there. Uh, we'll uh, that'll be a keeper right there. Kildorn Outpost is the rare. It's six bucks. And uh, when it comes into play, sacrifice a planes or bury it. Uh, you can tap to add. Uh, white to your mana pool. Sorry, I'm still stuck on this Force of Will. And then you can pay one in a white and tap it, put a soldier token into play, treat this token as a 1-1 one -one white creature. Very nice. We've got the Steam Beast, the Crusader, Escort. Interesting style. Okay, Arcane Denial is actually pretty good uh, common. This is the Sword version. I think the Axe version is actually worth a little bit more. Yep, 62 cents or so. We'll pull that one. And the Explorers. Excellent. Well, I gotta get a sleeve for my uh, Force of Will at least. And can I do any better than that? It's gonna be questionable. Uh, let's see here. Let's put that one on the top. Let's show it off. Next pack is gonna be Pack of Torment. I've been tearing through this whole box of Torment. I did some for patrons and I got someone a uh, Cabal Coffers. There's a chance that there's still a Cabal Coffers left in my few packs that I have left here. So, can we get double lucky right here? Faceless Butcher. More Nantucos. I'm big on the Nantucos back then, apparently. Aquamiba. Waste Away. Kamal Sledge. Croson Restorer. Now Earth is so rancid right there. An Aristocrat. Pay no heed. Got a Gloom Drifter. A Cephalid Illusionist. And a Tainted Isle. So Tainted Isle is pretty good, but it's not the land we're looking for again. And a Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, that's pretty decent for a rare out of this set. Tainted Isle is three bucks. Dawn of the Dead is a five drop enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to play. That creature gains haste until end of turn. Remove it from the game at end of turn. It's a buck fifty. <laughs> I think I'll put it right there. Okay, coming up next is Pack of Stronghold. Another chance at a big hit. Let's go. This one is from 1998. Going way back here. And again, I think this is an uncommon, uncommon, rare kind of situation. So let's do that whole thing. Serpent Warrior. Torment. Change of Heart. There's the Sliver Queen. We would really like to get that at the end here. Spike Colony. I always kind of like that card. Samite Blessing. Very cool art. Provoke. More cool art. Morgue Thrill. All right, Uncommons, I think. We'll find out here in a second. Mind Games, I think that was just still a common. Wall of Razors. Shifting Wall, which this one actually is kind of usable in some decks where you can set up for zero casting cost artifacts. Got a Temper and a Reigns of Power for the rare. So for four, it's an instant. You and target opponent each untap and gain control of all creatures the other controls until end of turn. Those creatures are unaffected by summoning sickness this turn. 
cool little party trick there. Let's see if it's worth anything. It's a dollar. That's been reprinted in Commander apparently. So the original Stronghold still a buck thirty-seven. There we go. All right, next up, Odyssey. There we go. Let's see anything good in here. I want to say that the the biggest card in Odyssey right now is one that was a bulk rare forever. Um. Yep, I'll flash up the name of it right now. So I can't because I can't remember it. Painted pack, that's what it was. I won't flash it up since I remembered it. Take that. Dusk Imp. Aramancer. A scorching missile. C4 debris. Got a hound. Chatter of the squirrel. Cabal Inquisitor. Alright, uncommons. We got Animal Boneyard. Squirrel Nest. Barbarian Ring and a zoologist it's a one two druid for four you can pay four to reveal the top card of your library if it's a creature card put it into play otherwise put it into your graveyard hey eh, i don't know that's that's pretty solid but it probably doesn't see much play it's 50 cents all right next up what is it what could it possibly be is it any good oh hey it is good urza saga I haven't opened one of these in a long time, I'll tell you that. Let's just do it. Good old Urza Saga. Alright, got a Merfolk. Fiery Mantle. A Zealot. The Heat Ray. More great art. Ravenous Scourge. Gaia's Bounty. Could go for a carpet of flowers. There's Teferi right there. Disruptive Student. He must have been a lot of fun to hang out with back at the old Tolarian College. Spire Owl, Retromancer. Oh, there, the, the, the rare is right there. Okay, it's pretty decent. Back to basics. Um, weird how the ordering is different. Uh, for three, it's an enchantment. Non-basic lands do not untap during their controller's untap phases. And oddly, this is not a reserve list card. It's been reprinted recently. 12 bucks. It had spiked up quite a bit at one point. I think over the, like before Ultimate Masters reprinted it. There we go. Where's our uncommons? Veiled Apparition, Urza's Armor, and a Hawk Eater Moth. There we go. All right. Well, that is it for this edition of Open a Bunch of Expensive Packs. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, make sure to check out my other videos. Tell all your friends. And come back for more. Tragic MTG saying... See you later.